Hey everybody, welcome back to the second episode of my Invasion series. So I'm working really hard here at uh, trimming this down. We had a couple of interlopers during the night, not too many, I think it was like three in total, easily taken care of. Uh, I basically spent the night cutting all this down because we want to set this up as our base here. This is kind of going to be the main level. So we're going to throw down our crafting bench, I think, let's put it right here because it'll stay up once we shovel this out of here. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna make, as you can see, I got lots of resources. I picked up a name tag and stuff. Um, so we're gonna make ourselves as much of the um, concrete as possible and get as much of this base in as we can. We wanna get the ground in, we wanna get the walls, and there goes the workbench. Do we get everything? We didn't get everything. Really. Really. That's just a pain in the ass. Anyway, I've been trying to level this side up here. Because we want to make it so that the Pranas have a really hard time attacking us. That way we can f we're free to build here as much as we want. But this is going to be the main level here. And let's start building that. Oh, no, we did get all our concrete. Okay. All right, so this is a good start here on the outside. See, they can just jump right up. I've seen these guys jump, I don't know how many blocks. Yay, fish, oh, bear. Gotta watch out for those guys spawning here. Have to go over there and get his claw in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna keep working on this. And when I'm done with these stacks of 64, we're gonna need to go out and get some more stone. Um, I'm undecided whether I want to pick up this uh, clay or not. We got tons of it, so I don't think we need it. So we're just going to cover it over. We'll have to remember it's here. If we ever need any, we can always go down and get it. And we didn't lose. Yeah, we got we got the full four stacks. Sometimes you lose resources when those uh, crafting tables break. I've had that happen. Still leveling up, leveling up our crossbow. The crossbow's got lots of endurance, so can afford to use that. All right, now we want to try and Oh, forget it. Got him. These guys are assholes. I hate those guys. That. Ah! There you are. Look at that, two hearts in there too. <sighs> so many damn piranhas, all right. Oh, well, we can't put one under there. Just do this though. Okay. I like to have one a level lower defense, just in case when the mobs come, they decide they want to smash through. We got an extra little bit of defense there. We'll go here. Um, sure, I'm wasting one, but why not? All right, doing that, and piece of gravel. There we go. We'll always make this into something. Okay, so the benefit now of having the concrete is that mobs will not spawn on the concrete. And if we hit F7 here, you can see they will not spawn here, which is awesome because now I can move my torches. Four torches, so you can be much more efficient with your torch usage.
put that guy up there. Take this one out. That's good. We got what? Two more torches. I like putting them along the shoreline. All right, let's go see if we can get that bear claw. And there's a drop up here too. Nice. Where was the bear? Here he was. Okay, so we're going to grab this and see, is this got stone in it? It most certainly does. All right, let's just rip this up if we can. Great thing about the stone is it'll come to the surface. Shoot. Got to keep my eye open here. I hear you. I think they're coming for the drop. So what'll happen in mobs will, if if um, they're within range of the drop, they'll come over to it. Like this guy. Dogs, rats, everything. Piranhas. If they detect there's a drop, they'll come to it. Ah, oh, I don't have room. I don't have any room. Do I have room to put stuff in here? That can go in. This can go in. That can go in. That's three things. Don't need this. Uh, let's put a stack of clay in there. Where's our paxels? Or our uh, bear claws? Nope. Alright, let's just dig this up out of here. More iron, nice. We have room for this stuff, whatever it is. No. I gotta keep my eye open. I'm so paranoid for mobs now. We don't have a bed down, so if we get killed, we're gonna be finding a long way back here. All right, let's get back here. Do a few things. Let's get the bed sorted out. I wanna make sure we got that running. See here, all the piranhas spawning out here, and no mobs. We have all this lit up. We don't have to worry about too much about mobs right now. So let's get, gonna need a roof, uh, but first things first, we need to get another workbench down here. One of these two's got our workbench, not you. Actually, I can put those guys in there. Like we got five backpacks and we're like out of space here. This is crazy. Uh, workbench. Nice, put that in there. So we'll be building some chests. Now we're gonna put the workbench here. Generally I like keeping objects one block away from the uh, walls because I've had mobs actually steal stuff from chests through a wall on me. So yeah, we don't want that to happen. So let's do this. Stuff that we don't need right now. Keep one of these out. Um, Need to make some bolts, so let's do that. Just so we have them. Uh, and let's make some more concrete. So, first things first. Uh, we grab our stone. Run it like this. And our clay. To make our stone. We do that in our 4x4 um, four four always. And let's see if this breaks this time. It really depends. I mean, sometimes these things will last forever, and then other times they just don't last at all. Where's the rest of my sand? Um, I got it in a backpack here somewhere. Not that one. Not that one. And not that one. There's our bear pack solo. And nope. And nope. Where's our sand? What the hell did I do with the sand? Did I use up all the sand already? I didn't think I did that. I picked up more. I don't know where the hell it ended up. 
All right, well, grab some more. Gonna have to go on a sand run at some point. Let's grab these. Don't need the scarab. Our base is really dark, but I don't care. You can see how dark it gets here, right? We'll have it all lit up shortly, but for right now, we do not. So, one, once again, let's do this. Got enough to make four more stacks. We're going to put a roof up, too. Don't You don't have to have a roof. Um, like, look how black it turned all of a sudden, right? What's up, buddy? That was my stick delivery. Okay. Let's fill this in a little bit. So, um, my suggestion when you're playing this game is never be idle. There is no sleeping. So, uh, you don't need to worry about sleep. But never be idle. Always be doing something. Don't Unless you absolutely have to, never stand around and wait for anything. So, F7. And we're good here. What about here? Not quite, but we can fix that. There we go. So we gotta, we got to make some mini torches here in a second. We can light our base up. Now we're going to do this one more high. Oh, looks like our... There we go. Just use these for now. Um, don't want to have a torch too close to wooden objects because it will light them on fire. If you place a torch on a wall, wooden wall, you might as well kiss goodbye to your house if it's made of wood. It'll burn your whole house up. But mini torches are just fine. They're like, they have half the luminosity. They're from actually additions, so they're actually quite good. Do this and that for now. Now we're gonna work on building a roof here. So we're gonna go three high for the roof. And we don't need to cover the whole thing just yet. So I don't have to worry about spawns in the roof, obviously because concrete does not um, allow for spawns in the dark or in the light or anywhere just cover our stuff up here protect ourselves from lightning strikes and tumbleweeds apparently Alright, so there's our wall three high. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, I think we'll just make the wall here. We can always expand the base later. I like bu building bigger rather than smaller at the start. Um, you don't have to. You can just build like a small box if you wanted to. Um, but I kind of like being a little bit bigger. Um, let's get some tumbleweed stuff here. Okay, now... Drop these guys in here. Let's keep our wood out. So we're going to make a few things. Uh, actually, let's pull these out. Okay, what do we need out? We don't need this stuff. So we're going to call this. If we shift and then click, this we're going to call this med. You can name your backpacks. So now when I roll over it, it'll tell me what it is. So this one is, I don't know what this one is. Uh, nothing. It's just miscellaneous. We're going to take everything out of here. So that'll all go in here. Okay. Let's move those over. That can go in there. What's up, buddy? Uh, let's give my sword the experience this time. I want to get my ender sword out. I really want to start working with that. I don't really want to want the guy's leg either. Gross. Alright, so this that's my med kit. So that can go in here. Pull these guys out as well. This one is miscellaneous. There it is. Let's pull the ender out. We got this sword for traveling with right now until we can get more experience on the ender, but this one is going to be awesome. 
Um, so that's another empty backpack. This one's empty too now, right? No. Uh, okay. We don't have the room right now. Do we have any more chests in here? We do. We've got two chests. So let's drop them here. Here. Um, let's just pull this stuff out. We're going to pull out as much as we can, I think, and just drop it here. We'll have the, back we'll have the uh, backpacks we're traveling with. Okay, so that's that guy. This one is empty. So it's just this one left, which is all the metals. Uh, so let's put them in there and then see what we can get for our quest. So we've got a ton of quests that we have completed now. So that's all can go in there. Leave the flint out for now. We need another shovel. Put those away. That's my med kit bag. Okay. And we need the wood out. And this can go in and drying rack. So the drying rack can go here. Let's get some more of, uh, where's the rotten flesh? Here it is. Thought I heard a mob there for a second. Not seeing anybody. Okay, we need some sand for concrete tomorrow. Gotta do a couple things first. Let's get this chopping block down. Gonna throw it here, and we're gonna stay back here. Keep an eye out. Oh, yeah, what we wanna do. We got seven diamonds. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do with them. I should probably make a diamond pickaxe and a diamond regular axe now. Which I think we'll probably do. Save one diamond. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Let's put these guys away. Uh, the reason for it is we'll get, um, as far as durability on the uh, diamond pickaxe, uh, it's ridiculously durable. And the axe will get four pieces of wood per operation, so we'll be getting twice as much as the other one. Which means we just have to do a lot less work with wood. Which is amazing. Okay, once we get this done and chopped, we're going to go ahead and check out our quest book. We should have a ton of quests done now that we're here. Um, and then we'll go in the morning, we'll go look for some uh, sand. Alright, so there's our wood. Uh, so let's have a fun look at our quest book, which is here. We've got a ton of quests done. So this one is done. We're going to claim... The baked beans, uh, I find that this one is th probably the best one food-wise. Ooh, bugs, we got enough dirt. Uh, we got rope, so we can claim that one. String. And claim the reward for that. Uh, we want to go ahead and make a wooden shield. Wait a minute, don't we have one? Didn't we pick one up? We didn't pick one up. I thought we did. These things are crappy. You make it and then you throw it away. But you need it for the quest. Usually you can find one, but you can't always. Um, so, shields at the ready. We got clay. We picked up cobblestone, or we made cobblestone. Uh, we can get our dog. Uh, yep, this one's done. Drying rack, our backpack. Gonna take the medical airdrop. Uh, bear claw paxel. Don't need it. We got diamond items already. This one is gated behind a regular wooden one, which we can make later, but we don't have to do it now. Iron sword. We have the ender. We don't care. Resources, resources, resources. Okay. So now after the cheering's all done, let's go back. So we got scrapping opened up to us now, so we're going to open this up. So we got to make out, make ourselves some cutting wire. So let's ditch these bugs. It's morning actually. So before we do that, it's, we don't need these bugs. Where are they? Don't need the shield. Uh, might as well throw this one. It's a little better than the other one. Uh, and then let's drop all this stuff in here for now. If we can. We don't have space for that. We have more space for it in here. Yep. And this. Yes. I'm not going to use the iron shovel. We're going to make flint shovel again. It's such a cheap resource and the speed doesn't really make that much difference. You don't get anything extra out of it. So we need to go and get some sand. There's some over here. So let's hit F7 to get rid of that. Smoked them. And eventually we're going to start making... Um, we'll start making iron... Um, 
not iron, but uh, stone arrowheads or crossbow bolt heads, I guess. So this is just for concrete. Yeah, we're back. Okay, so we've got a lot of materials there, um, which is awesome. So let's put these guys in here. Uh, we got lots of healing too, which is amazing. Definitely stuff we need. Okay, so what else do we got? That can go in there. Do we have any more ender? No, we don't. All right, so let's go and uh, what do we need to do here? Make more storage, I think. We got this guy. So let's make a wooden chest. And we will upgrade it. Let's put it right here for now. And upgrade it. We'll throw this stuff in here. Doesn't really matter. Uh, where do we have all our... This is our building materials here. So let's go ahead and move some of this over. Keep our building materials out. We're going to do some... Uh, finishing up a few more quests here in a second. Uh, move some of this over. And then we can go ahead and do a few more quests. Actually, want to keep this out. Yep, for now. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And we'll just put these in here. Um, there's a reason why I got what I got when I was out, and I'll show you that in a second. Don't need that really, but we're going to keep these on us. And get some leather. Keep our eye open for the bad guys until we can get that wall in. Um, Got to keep ourselves... Uh, on our toes here. So one, two, three, four more. Don't know how much other we're going to need in the future, but we're going to bring it out. Okay, so we need a piece of iron and two sticks for this. So one piece of iron has to be in the workbench. You can't do it in a 4x4, four four, unfortunately. Even though it's it will fit in a 4x4, four four, it doesn't work. So we need the engineer's cutting tools to get our leather cap. And now we have all these recycling quests. So... Anything that we have on us that we are capable of recycling or we've made or whatever is capable of recycling. That's why we keep these two. And we've got them in uh, somewhere here. Did we keep them? thought we did. Or am I just blind? Why do I feel like I'm missing stuff? Am I just blind? Do we toss them out? We might have. Huh. What the hell did I do with them? Well, we can always get more. Oh, here they are, here. Oh, man, I'm so blind. All right, so we can uh, manually detect these and claim them. And there's a doge. We want to go get this guy. Hopefully we can get that one last piece of leather we need. Just need one more. Yeah, nope. Rip off. Rip off. Okay, so what else do we have? We can turn in the hat for leather. Nice. You keep the item. It doesn't go away. So this is a way to get a half decent amount of resources. Let me go through all the yays here. Hooray! And the sun's going down. Alright, so let's put these away now. Now you can see we've gathered a fair number of resources here. So what we're going to do... Uh, let's just drop this hat in there. Leather can go in here. Okay, so what you can do with these is four like this. You get iron ore chunks. These can be cooked into a single piece of iron, uh, each one. Uh, or you can wait till you have like a sag mill, and then you can get you can sag mill them, which is normally what I like doing, uh, because then you can get two for one, which is way better, of course. 
iron nuggets. Uh, let's pull this out. What else can we pull out of here? Let's get our furnace down. 32 diamond nuggets. That's four. Four? No, three. Three pieces of diamond. And this is going to give us a stack and a bit of, of uh, cobble, which is awesome. Let's get this thing down. Nice. And some more leather. Okay, we're not going to need to make any more leather for a while. Got lots. Okay, so uh, first things first. We want to start uh, by finishing up, I think, this space. Yeah, let's do that. Um, don't want to take the chance of getting overrun. I mean, we're not going to get overrun by mobs, I don't think. But I want to have all of our walls up with the doors on and a roof on, just so that we don't have any wanderers coming in while we're doing stuff. Okay. Should have enough here to be able to complete that, I think. With the current configuration we have, we're going to be expanding the base afterwards. Like, we'll be making it a lot bigger than this. But for right now, I think this is probably going to be more than enough that what we need. It'll get us through the first quarter of this game, I think. I know I say a quarter, but man, when you start seeing how big this stuff is later on, we haven't even got to power generation yet. Plus the drones haven't shown up yet either, so that's the other thing. Uh, we have ladders. I thought we had ladders with us. I guess we don't. Let's make a few ladders. Um, let's go up on the roof to do this bit. Okay, get the top of this wall done. So the fish can't get us up this high. I've seen them jump up to three blocks in height. So if you are doing stuff on a wall next to water, just be aware that those, the uh, piranha will jump up and get you without too much of a hassle at all. Okay, I'm going to leave the ladder for now. I don't like it when, when rain comes into our base, but we'll leave it for now. I think I'm going to move it though. I'm not going to have it here. Let's put it... Um, here? No, that's going to be the edge. Hmm. Let's get a shovel here. Need a piece of flint. Here we go. Where are we here? Where's our flint? Flint like wood. Here we go. So let's get the edge of this. We want to be right down. So the drones later on will be firing um, blades that actually um, will explode. So you don't want shoddy underneath of your base at all. Um, so make sure you like lay down half decent um, protection on the bottom of your base. Don't skimp on it if you can avoid it. A lot of people will be like, ah, you can do what you want. You can skimp on it and do whatever. Yeah, do whatever you want. But I, in my experience, I've experienced it where they just blow through it. Um, so, depends on how, how long you want to go with the mod pack too, right? Like, you can stay here and not actually blast off into space. So, you can just stay and like... thought I heard a mob there for a second. You can stay, not go to space, see how long you can last on the planet. And once you've got your base really like built, it isn't really that difficult. You just have to be very wary. It's just a continuous um, necessity for resources. Um, they're not always, like you're not always going to be getting stuff readily available to you. Okay, what I want to do... I normally do is I build out like this because rather than handling the mobs right in my base 
are right up against the side of my base. I like to handle them out here a little more. So I'll build out a little uh, place like this as a doorway. And then we'll put walls up. Okay, cool. We can put this down here for now. Got to get XP for the Ender, so we might as well wait for this guy to show up. What's up, buddy? Oh, you, got a, you brought a friend with you, eh? Brought me a carrot, too. Thank you. That's for our farm later on. Oop. Um, that's not good. We'll be getting tiny torches in here soon enough. We don't have to worry about... Uh... There we go. Stuff spawning inside. Uh, so we want to make some walls here. This is a quest anyway, so we might as well make them now. And we can turn it in and get a few more. Uh, once we get these tools unlocked, great. So there's that little shit of a rat. It'll steal stuff from you. Okay, now we just build like a little bit of a barrier and we put one there. Don't have to worry about them coming in. I mean, the rats can get in. Let's just do that for now. All right, so we got a little bit left here. Let's see how much of a roof we can get on. All right, we can't. We couldn't complete it, but that's fine. Looks all right. So let's go in here, and what we want to do for lighting now is we're going to grab two of these probably be enough for the inside and then we're gonna make them into tiny charcoal and we don't quite have enough sticks for this but we can make more so we're gonna replace these guys with tiny charcoal or tiny torches so let's just put some up along the walls now these won't catch anything on fire so you don't have to worry about that. All right, take this out. Take this out. Put them up along the wall. And we'll put a couple in here just so it's not so barren. And then outside. Put a couple up just so we can see when we're out here. Yeah, really. Okay, so we got a shell of a house, pretty much. Don't have to worry about mobs. Um, the only thing we're missing is the iron axe. We're going to have to go ahead and build one. I was hoping we'd find one, but it's going to be a waste of three iron, but not much we can really do about that. We'll be getting some of it back anyway. I think we actually get four back? We don't have any sticks. Let's make some sticks. We need some more for the tiny torches anyway. All right. That should be more than enough. There's five for the tiny torches. Excellent. Let's make the iron axe. This should open up the next level of quests too, I think. Iron axe is done. So we got this one. We get one iron ingot for this, plus an iron hoe. Take the bottles of enchanting. Uh, we're going to put them in here, I guess. So you can go in there. You can go in there. Iron can go back over here. And then... So we got that done, but now we can go... Let's get this one. We can go to... Scrapping. So we got one iron for making the axe. And then if we go into scrapping... Reclamation, we get eight iron ore pieces. Which should make two chunks which will give us when we break them down later on that'll give us four iron so we got five iron for using three so not bad not bad i don't feel so bad about that now okay so that's scrapping done so we got infrastructure opened up so pulverizer or pulvus so we need to make a we didn't grab very many furnaces actually let's just uh, we're gonna need this furnace yeah we're gonna need the furnace so let's go and grab Four sandstone. There's a reason why I picked up sandstones. We need four of these. We need two flint. We need two iron. And, oops, that was three. And we need a furnace. So the pulvis is going to allow us 
It's you use this for one thing and one thing only, which is really annoying. So we do this. The flint goes down here, and we put the iron up there. And the only thing we're ever going to use this for is making invar, which we're not going to make a lot of. Uh, and then later on, it'll be easy to make invar, so we don't really have to worry about, you know, the invar so much. Ladder now. Where do we want to put the ladder? Uh, I don't want it to be up front. Um, I hear somebody outside. Let's put it here. And we just leap up. So we're going to use some of our walls here. That's it. There you are. So, buddy, thanks for the sticks. So, I don't think we need to keep the. Um, do we actually we have those extra torches on us? We do. All right, we're going to go out here. And we're going to put the extra torches down. Just because. Still might as well start a fire there. One, two, three, four. Not bad. Yeah, see? Torches will start fire, so we got to be careful. Oh, that's exactly what we want right there. Industrial hemp. That's why I was breaking the grass. I was like, yeah, man, we need to get some industrial hemp. Let's just break these down so that it doesn't catch on fire. Okay, we need seeds. We need these. Just going to grab a few things from out here. Um... The reason for this is that there's a quest that we need some of these seeds for. This and this and this. And hit F7 to get rid of this crap. Plus it's easier to hit stuff out here with a melee weapon if these grass is all gone. Nothing worse than targeting grass when you're trying to fight an opponent. Okay, let's get a few more bits of iron, or stone. Yeah, you can see how it's just catching on fire out here. That can kind of work to your advantage sometimes if the, uh, if there's like mobs around they might accidentally catch on fire, but don't use it as a defensive tactic because not that reliable. Although I think if you hit somebody with a torch, you'll set them on fire. So that's a good thing. Something to remember. Don't need the corn. Take that. Take that and that. So that's pretty good, I think. Got this area cleared. Now we should just be able to run and jump over this wall. Oh, you got to make me do it again, are you? Okay, cool. So let's get this knocked down. I just, I just have these in because sometimes drones will just fly right through your opening here. I prefer it. They're going to fly over anyway, but I mean, I prefer it to not be open if I can avoid it. All right, let's get a bunch of this stuff put away if we can. How much can we get in here? Not a lot. And there's no room in here, right? All right. Um, all right, using this then. So we're going to have a variety of stuff for our garden here, which will be great. Uh, that can go in, that can go in, that can go in. All right, these are clay. Let's grab this out. Um, let's make another stack of uh, cobble. Should be able to finish this roof, up, roof off now here. Uh, we need 16 of this. And then, do we have another stack? We don't have another stack of gravel. We're in a basically gravel place and there's no gravel. Alright, let's break our door down here. Did I not get a shovel? Oh, I do have a shovel. Here we go. Alright, grabbing some more resources. 
All right, so that broke up. I wonder how much we lost here. Sometimes you lose um, resources when the chest breaks, and other times you gain. It's kind of weird. Uh, it looks like we gained some. Not sure how the breaking actually happens, but... All right, we're going to get, get some more crafting tables soon, too. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how the breaking actually happens a lot of the time. But we should get four full stacks. We'll have 16 more, I think. Yeah, so it broke, but we ended up with more resources than what we put in. Sometimes it works the opposite way. I've actually had it work the opposite way, where you put resources in and you just don't get the same amount back. Um, I lost a couple stacks one time. Not exactly sure how that happened, but sure as hell did. I thought maybe there for a second that they were like underneath something, but but they weren't. They were gone. All right, we got mobs outside. So let's get this roof up, and I want to put a fence on top all the way around. I'll get some lighting on the roof so we can see when we're up there. And then I think we're going to call this the episode. It was really just building the base, getting this up and running, uh, just to make sure we got enough protection here. So we should be able to build here without having to worry about anything. There should be enough fences. I'm worried about the breaking. Uh, let's go up. So the mobs will start to nerd pull up to us. Uh, this is the best way I found to actually get stone. <laughs> if you don't want to go out and get stone, let them nerd pull. Just keep moving around. Let them nerd pull up to you. They'll be using uh, cobblestone the whole time. Then you just go out. You kill them. You go out in the morning and pick up all the cobblestone. It's like free stone. Now later in the game, they'll be a little tougher. It'll be harder to do that. But, uh, but right now, it's really simple to do that. So let's go and do one, two, three... One, two, three. Just need a little bit of light here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then put like one in the center. And that should be enough. Maybe one over here and one over here. Plenty. Not really even, is it? Now it is. Now it is. So you can hang out up here. They'll come up to you. See? There's your free cobblestone. You just go out and mine it in the morning. And if you really want a lot, rather than hitting them with your sword, I wanted the experience for the sword, but rather than hitting them with your sword, just punch them off. And they'll build back up again, you punch them off again, they build back up, you punch them off again. Now we're not going to have too many mobs around here because uh, we're in a pretty secluded area. And do that. Not really worried out here tonight. Pretty quiet. But like I said, it's it's really great if you can actually build your base in an area like this where you don't have to worry about a lot of mob spawns. Um, oh, for Christ's sake, stop. I hate those things. Um, you don't have to worry about a lot of mob spawns, so um, you can move around in relative comfortability. Um, but yeah, so that was the end of this episode. So next episode when we come back, we're going to work our way through the quest book here in the second chapter. So we got our pelvis done. Take the medical supply drop. Heart of Gold basically gives you like a quarter heart up here that lasts for a little while. And quarter of a heart means if you're down to like almost no health, you can take this and get some health back, but it's not for me, it's never worth doing it. So we're going to start off this way and move along the quest chain this way. We'll have to go out and do some um, questing in order to get some stuff for that. But we're going to make some Invar alloys tomorrow. We're probably going to work on getting um, our... Let's do this. We're going to work on getting our... Um, do this. We don't even have room for anything now. Uh, I want to get some shipping bins. We got to get some wood outside. Uh, so I got to put some trees down. Um, so we're going to have to go get trees. Because I threw my saplings away. Uh, but we're going to work on getting a coal coke oven and a blast furnace up and running tomorrow. We should be able to do that really quickly, I think. 
um, because we have um, so the coke oven's not so bad it's just it's just brick right brick and clay and we've got sandstone so that we should easily be able to do that one but the coal coke oven requires nether brick uh, which we need to get from over there um, and it requires regular bricks and then it requires blaze powder which we get in a quest so we don't have to worry about the blaze powder um, so we're gonna cook actually before we leave the episode we want to make sure we're doing stuff so let's go with clay so we're gonna need if I remember correctly uh, we've got 16 brick we need another 20 for that one and then we need 36 for the other operation so we need 56 clay to be cooked up and because I don't, I don't really want to use the coal but uh, we might as well can always make more charcoal later but let's get that cooking so we have it for next time all right so when we come back next time it'll be the morning um we'll move out we'll go over to that building over there we'll pick up some resources maybe get some drops we'll come back and then we'll get our coke oven um and our um blast furnace up and running uh so we'll be able to be able to make some stuff and i'm probably going to put them they're like three by threes right so i could put them here and here or we could put them but i don't know we'll put them back here maybe I don't like having them close to the front walls. Anything disposable can go there just in case something happens and these walls get blasted through for whatever reason. But yeah. All right, so we're going to leave the episode there. Hope you liked it. If you did, like, drop a like. Uh, I know we didn't do too much today, but the house is kind of in a position right now where it's uh, safe for us to be here doing stuff, not having to worry about mobs. But that's uh, it's kind of really, really important to do that. I mean, this is oversized because I know what I have to do. Um, we're going to have to expand outwards a bit more, but... Because I know what I ha what we have to do, I just needed to get this space in so we can start doing stuff. Uh, it's really important to do that. Okay, so um, yeah, if you got any comments or questions, please drop them in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.